In this video, we'll see how to secure Swarm using TLS. Specifically, we'll use digital certificates to configure authentication between Docker Engine clients and the Swarm Manager, and between the Swarm Manager and Docker Engine daemons inside of the cluster. And doing this requires a public key infrastructure, or PKI, which obviously is beyond the scope of this video. However, it essentially consists of a certificate authority that's trusted by all systems in the cluster, plus each system in the cluster needs its own set of certificates digitally signed by the CA. Now, this PKI can include trusted third-party CAs where you contract with them to perform all of your certificate management and the likes, or you can run your own PKI in-house. The choice is yours and Docker is fine with either. So, let's go configure TLS. This here is our Swarm Manager, and here in the hidden certs directory, we've got the CA's public key plus the Swarm Manager's own key pair. What we've also got is the Docker daemon configured here with the TLS verify flag and then flag showing the locations of the various keys. And this write is the same on every node in the infrastructure. They've all got copies of their keys locally and they've all got their engine daemon configured to start with these options. Now the Swarm Manager process is also running here on this node as a container. So when we started that container, we mounted a volume into it holding the Swarm Manager's keys and we passed in the TLS flags to the Swarm Manage command. So that's all of the engine daemons configured for TLS as well as the Swarm Manager process. This means any Docker commands not secured with TLS are going to get rejected. So let's jump over to our engine client here. This command shows here that it's configured to issue commands to the Swarm Manager. So let's just do a Docker version. No TLS flags or anything. And there we go. No joy. Okay, so this top part here is talking to the local client and that's okay. But the server version, this needs to come from the Swarm Manager and that's been rejected. So let's try it again. Only this time, we'll add in the TLS switches. Give that a try. And there we go. It works a treat. And yeah, see how the server version's reporting back the swarm info? So that's working, but that's a pretty ugly command as well, yeah? So to configure things so that the TLS settings are automatically applied to all Docker commands, we do that with a couple of environment variables. This one here tells the client to always use TLS, and this one tells it where to find the keys. Okay, let's run that command again, the one without explicitly passing the TLS settings. Remember, it failed last time, and it's working now. So, that's how to configure your Swarm cluster with TLS for authentication. We've got a trusted CA, signed keys for each node in the cluster, including our client, set the engine daemons and the Swarm Manager to require TLS, and configure the client to issue commands using TLS. Very, very important in today's security conscious world.